uh, complex kind of decision making as far as what you're putting in your doomsday pile. But this seems fairly straightforward, especially considering he, uh, you know, he made almost the same pile both games. Then again, he's not playing against counter spells. That's it true. may get a lot more complicated against a blue base deck. And I know so. some old older Doomsday decks used to play Shellback Isle as a way to win. Yeah, they would put Shellback under and um, do the do the thing with Ember Cruel. Yeah, that, that was that was another version I've seen. I think. But so. with with Wasteland being so prevalent and Night of the Reliquary being so prevalent, was oh, that what you wanted, Adrian? Night of the Reliquary Just being hovering. so so prevalent, Adrian Sullivan here and look at the the Doomsday deck list. Yeah. With Night of the Reliquary being so prevalent in so many wastelands in the format, it's not reliable. I assume you're out of the tournament, right, Adrian? I am. Okay. I mean, I know you O2 would to start. So. Yeah. Did you drop after that? Did you keep going? I kept playing for some time. You you won round three with, with your buy, right? Three and four. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna see. We, we transfer to another match, and we're gonna find out what decks both Scott and Kurt are playing shortly. You can see the question marks there as Dane goes to retrieve the deck list. Magical mystery deck. But at the very least, we are in game three, so it is going to be more than likely a high-pressure situation. Yes, much less complex. Um, people asking about him in Lightning, doing a Lightning Tutor for Choke. I don't think he had a chance to... Like, he had the... The Hierarch, that was his only white mana, right? Yep. And it passed the turn, it was summoning sick still, right? So then when the turn came back to him, he could have been Lightning Tutor there, but I don't think he had another draw step. He only had one opportunity to use that Hierarch. I'm, I'm maybe misremembering it, but... So there was one turn where Hierarch was unsick. Right. And that was the turn where he that was the turn where he died because he could have Swords his Right, guy. exactly. That's but, what I was thinking. So there was no time for him to... Cast. Oh, I mean, he could, okay, he could have cast it on yeah, his upkeep. Yeah, you cast it on your upkeep, and yeah. if he has choke in his deck, he gets the choke, plays choke, and then Steven's mana is kind of kind of stuck, and he has to find an answer to be able to deal with it. Yeah, so that was a way to do it. Yeah, so he definitely had some avenues to victory if choke was in his deck, or avenues to stall the, thing, stall the game. All right, well, it looks like the mystery decks are Rug Delver versus Rug Delver, at least from what I can tell. I can't quite make out what that, what that front card is in Kurt. Okay. Well, the, the mystery's up then, because it is Rug right. Delver versus Rug Delver. Unless Kurt's hand is, unless Kurt's uh, blue red Delver, but I think there's a Goyf in his hand. It's more likely to be Rug Delver, but we'll change it if we have to. So this is our first time seeing these decks today. Uh, I'm sure you guys are all intimately familiar with Rug Delver, as it is one of the tier one decks in Legacy. So Scott had the turn one Delver. Kurt had the uh, the red blast for it, or the pyro blast for it. Yes. Which is still a red blast. And, uh, but Scott had a turn two Delver. This time, Kurt has Lightning Bolt for it, so. Lightning Bolt playing his, playing his land uh, so he doesn't run into a daze, which is very smart. And you know, now he's safe that he should, I, I feel as though he should fetch that land so he doesn't run into a stifle. You don't wanna, you don't wanna set, your, set yourself back. See, I believe I see a wasteland in Scott's hand. I think there's one in Kurt's hand as well. So there's a wasteland from Scott. Wastes away the uh, dual land. A volcanic island that Kurt had. And uh, does manage to stick a third Delver. So and there's a wasteland from Kurt. Kurt now has two wastelands, I believe. I think the he, they're bookending his hand. He's got one in the front, one in the back. Okay. I think. I think that last card was a wasteland, but... He's at least got one. So Scott's been, Scott's only had one, well, he only has one land right now. He used the Wasteland to deny Kurt's resources, but now he's going to probably be without any lands. I'll be facing a little bit of trouble, but Kurt can also cast the Tarmogoyf uh, if he wants to and see if that's going to resolve, but he, it opens himself into running into a Daze or a Force of Will, so we'll see. Ponder from Kurt. That's going to resolve. And he sees Goyf, Force of Will, and Volcanic Island. Those are all cards that he could definitely use, so I, I assume... My predi I predict he's going to keep these. He needs the Volcanic Island, he needs Sorcerer Red. He's also going to need another mana with that Wasteland. Another Tarma Goyf is going to be able to do some damage, get a clock going, and a Force of Will is going to stop Scott from being able to catch up. 
and Wasteland your land. Scott now. Armageddon. But he does have a Delver in play. Delver does not flip. He is landlocked. Is that another Wasteland? I think it is. Delver gets in for one. Yeah, might as well. So there's Volcanic Island that we knew about, and this next card's going to be Tarmogoyf. I may have taken the opportunity to brainstorm right away there, because it's pretty important for that to resolve. You don't want to waste a Force of Will. You don't want to waste a Force of Will. Just to protect your brainstorm. Yeah, just to protect your brainstorm. Or, you know, run it into a daze if you draw some land. There's that brainstorm. Does he have that second land or that green source? Yep, it's a trap. So he keeps... Does he have another blue card to even use with that force? Um, at the moment in his, in his hand that we can see, no, but yeah. the brainstorm is going to be an end of turn. Right, I'm just, he's, he's got to set this so up he, the right way. Yeah, I don't yeah. even know if he has a blue card available. Yeah, I, mean, I think so. the other card might just be Tarmogoyf. He may have put Force all the way back down. Yep. Yeah. So I assumed he was going to try to Goyf and then protect it with Force, but yeah, bolting the Delver seems fine too. And, you know, he can play uh, Nimble Mongoose. Yep. yep. And, and that's, he, a, that's a fat Mongoose. That's a 3-3. Three, three. And now he is permanentless. Kurt Crane clears the way for his Mongoose. And Kurt's in the driver's seat here because he also has two Tarmogoyfs to back it up as well. Yeah. Scott is going to be in a lot of trouble because the clock is going to be fast. Those Tarmogoyfs are at least three fours with a creature and instant and a land. So probably a four, five, two sorcery because of Ponder. So Scott, no land drop, passes back. Kurt in with the Mongoose. One, two, Tarmogoyf. Big Tarmogoyf. I don't know how big, but pretty, pretty big. Pretty sizable. Fairly sure it's a four, five. Yeah. Instant being Lightning Bolt, Creature being Delver's Secrets, Land being a number of Wastelands, mm -hmm. and then Sorcerer being one of the Ponders that was yep. cast this game. Seems like the most common in this matchup, fat boy. In, in this the matchup, way. typically a 4-5. There's a third land for Kurt as well. So, uh, yeah, Scott, again, passes a turn with no play. No land, nothing. Scott is getting beat down, has absolutely nothing on board. Not a land, not a thing. And he can't catch back up. He's got all these blue cards in his hand, spell snares and all this good stuff. But... And he finally draws a land. Kurt plays his second Tarmogoyf just before uh, Scott Scott's draw step there where uh, he drew that land. The funny thing here is, uh, my, I'm going to assume, Joey, that, that Scott is playing some number of submerges in his deck. And I, while I can't see one in his hand right now, you know, that's really the only thing that's going to be able to keep him alive, and it's actually going to do a nice job of it, but he's going to need to find some to be able to not die next turn. I don't think it was in the top three. I think I, I saw see the, I didn't see it in the top three. Misty Red Blast Red Blast. Is that what it looks like to you? Yeah, it's two, a red, two red, different blast, red blast. Yeah, yeah. Red Blast Pyro Blast Pyro and blast. a Misty Rainforest. I call them both and Red he Blast. He brainstorms yeah. all the cards back to his deck. Why yeah, put that. three when I can put all nine back? You got it, Kurt. Yeah, Kurt Crane keeping his opponent completely locked out of the game with uh